Hey guys, so what I realized is that a lot of us parents really dread the teething stage. Now obviously this is an inevitable milestone that we all have to deal with as well as our child. Now our job as a parent, we want to make it as easiest as possible. But remember, it all depends on your child and how they handle stuff. Some children handle it or... Now remember, it all depends on how your baby handles it. Some babies handle it very bad. Some babies don't even know that they're teething and all of a sudden, pop, there goes a tooth. You know, it really all depends. And remember that it all comes in different stages. Not every baby is the same. Some kids start as early as two months as well as late as nine months. So it really just know how your kid is, check for the signs, and that's basically it. So one of the signs that you could definitely know your child is teething is the whole nibble on everything. Now my daughter started trying to chew on everything about three and a half to four months. And when I mean she will chew, she would chew on my hands for aeons, like for a good hour, two hours. And if I was to pull my hand away, she would like throw these tantrums. Also, they'll drool a lot and you'll realize if you don't realize that they're drooling a lot they'll start getting diet a little bit of diarrhea um and those are just little tiny common stages they could also get mild fevers from it um because their body's trying to react to the growth of the tooth but it doesn't know what is you know it's like oh something's happening let's get a fever i guess yeah i just know that they get they could get So yeah, so in order to cope with this situation, there are several things you could do. As well as when your child gets their first teeth, then you obviously you have to maintain and clean and take care of your tooth. So first off, I want to start with the toys, chewing toys. Now the most common is these chewing teethers, rings, and obviously they come in different fun shapes, colors anything that suits for your child so this is probably the most standard one it's what I use to go it has nice little grips on it so and this is from bright star it came with um, her gym set actually so yeah I usually take this to go with us then I have this one which is my daughter's favorite because it's large enough for her to grip as well as the little holes are easier to go inside her mouth which is cool and this one she also enjoys and what's cool about this one is that it has little gel palettes inside if you can see them and unlike the standard ones that just have water you see so and then this is the shape of a hand this also comes with a shape of a foot so yeah these are so good then there's also toys that you could get that your children might enjoy as well now this is a regular rattle but oops this is a regular rattle, but you see these here, these are basically the cheating part for it. So she could chew on this part and she'll get some relief from the teething. And it is also a rattle for her to make noise. They also have this kind of toy, which is one side is a regular standard, a regular standard teething ring. And then the other side is a rattle, which is cool. My daughter enjoys this as well. You can also get a regular bath washcloth, um, get it wet, put it in the freezer for about an hour, then obviously it'll come out, it'll be frozen, so you want to mush it together, and then you just rub it on their gums, and that definitely soothes them as well. Now, the next part is basically the medicine part. Obviously, the most common medicine for a teether is the pain relief oral um, the oral pain relief gels now this is by little teether I know aura gel does the same thing this just came with a kit that was um, a gift as my baby shower so the next one so next are basically the medicines so next are the medicines that you could use for your little teether now this is the most common one this is the oral pain relief gel. Um, this is from Little Teether. This just came with a set that was a baby shower gift for me. And I know Oral Gel also has a baby oral pain relief as well. 
Then you could also use Humphreys, which you could buy at any drugstore. And basically, it's these small little tablets. And it looks like this. And what you do is that you get a table... You get... So basically what you do is you get a tablespoon of water and then you drop three tablets inside the... So basically what you do is you get three tables... So basically what you do is you get a water... So basically what you do is that you get a tablespoon of water and you put three of those tablets inside, wait until they fully dissolve and then give it to your child. Also, if they're running a mild fever, because they can run mild fevers when they're teething, you give them some Tylenol, some baby Tylenol. Um, now, I don't use the recommended, what it says in the back. Um, I actually use less than that, because I don't want to, like, overdose her in Tylenol. She'll, obviously, show. I just, I'm not too fan of medicine. So, whatever. Um, basically, what I give her is this much you see how the it's 0.4 it's like maybe a half of 0.4 milliliters and that's all I give her and she's fine she'll knock out you know she'll be very content after that so once your child so once your baby gets that little white pellet tooth yeah so once your child gets that little tiny tooth obviously you want to start cleaning it maintaining it take care of it so obviously once your child finally gets their tooth you definitely want to start cleaning it and maintaining maintaining taking care of you know just like your regular teeth so you definitely want to go and purchase one of these now this is the Colgate zero to two fluoride free easy safe to swallow toothpaste um, it helps remove plaque with brushing cleanser teeth. Do not use carton as if it has been oh. So what I I don't know what I don't know what I said. The toothbrush that I oh. So the toothbrush that I use is this type of tooth. <laughs> So the toothbrush that I use for my daughter is this one, which is basically really cool. It's, it's a gum brush, and it's very soft. Let me see. Very soft. And what I think about this one is it's much more delicate than a regular toothbrush. Obviously, my baby's not a toddler yet. She's just six months. Well, she's just seven months. And what... You know, I realized that the soft ones are really harsh for her, for her gums as well. So, I recommend getting one of these. Um, for now, until they get more teeth, then you could get, then you could start using the regular toothbrushes. I do recommend that you buy one of these. And then once they get an, enough teeth in their mouth, um, then you could go transfer to the baby toothbrush. Until then, I do recommend that you use these. Until then, I do recommend that you use this. Um, you can also use... I do recommend that you use this, these kind... I do recommend that you use these kind of toothbrush rather than the standard soft brushes with the bristles. Those are harsh on your child's gums. And once they get enough teeth, then you can start using that. But if your child only has a couple of teeth, like two or four... Um, I definitely don't recommend. These are better for their gums and for their teeth. Uh, one of my friends who's a dentist also recommended that you could use a... One of my friends that's who... One of my friends also recommended... One of my friends who's also a dentist recommended that you could use Q-tips to clean their teeth as well. Which is very good as... One of my friends who's also a dentist recommended that you could also use the Q-tips, which is just as safe as these kind of brushes for your baby. 
And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful day. Remember to subscribe, check out my blog, as well as leave a comment, tell me what you think, if you have any other suggestions on what you would like me to do. Enjoy your day, guys. Bye.